Okay, so there's the mixture. <laughs> now I've got to do this by hand, otherwise this will go everywhere. There's quite a lot of it. So I just sprinkle this over it. And then all I'm going to do is just mix this in slowly, which is a boring bit, which you don't need to see. And then I'll come back with the next bit. Okay, so there's one in its loaf tin. So you cover that in foil, like so. It filled the two pound loaf tins to the top. Okay, sorry, two one pound loaf tins to the top. Now the press cook, which people didn't really seem to get. Hang on a minute. Now these will go in the fridge tonight. You can see they're on cooling tin, inside a roasting tin, like that. I'm now going to fill these two with water, put those on the top, pop them in the fridge. We've got a big fridge out the back. Leave that overnight, and then as soon as I get up in the morning, that goes in the oven and bakes, okay? I won't show you what it's like when you come out because you've seen a frozen one, although that didn't have the pastry in it, but it'll be much the same. Um, so that'll go on about 200 for two to three hours. Okay, and I'll cook other stuff too. And that's it. So that's what I meant about how to make that loaf. This is the only difference to this is it's got the pastry in. It's dairy free. It's got people coming who some eat meat, some eat dairy, some eat veg. So I always do no dairy and they don't mind. No difference. So that is what I mean by the weighted cook. It's what you do for galantines. Bye.